Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me again today. At 1.30 a.m. local time, there was a magnitude 6.3 earthquake there in Banda C. About 600 residents across Darwin and Palmerston, Australia, said they felt this earthquake. It was a very deep earthquake, about 103 miles in depth. And historically, there's been a lot of large earthquakes in this location, which is the Banda Arch. We got the um, outer Banda Arch, which we got subduction of the Australian plate. Part of it's broken off and evidently is stuck here. And then we have the inner Banda Arch. 1950, or 1852, there was a magnitude 7.5. Let's see, in 1938, there was a magnitude 8.6 or maybe an 8.5. And then um, earlier this year, in January, on the 9th, there was a 7.6. So we'll zoom in a little bit so you get a better idea where that 6.3 earthquake occurred. Right there, we got some little islands that are being formed because of the back arc subduction. And we'll bring it out so you can see where Australia is at. Do, 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 do. Way down over here. Can you believe that? Um, Darwin. And I don't see Palmerston. So let's see if Google Earth, okay, it's close to Darwin. All right. Here we have um, an example of the back arch rollback. You can see we got convergent going in two different directions. And then over here they got an image showing how it forms the uh, different islands and volcanoes. Interestingly, one of the islands has risen up out of the ocean because of this subduction and rollback. Uh, three kilometers or 1.8 miles. I'm going to show you that. Let me bring this out. And it is uh, Saram Island. Okay, here's the uh, 6.3. And yeah, this has risen almost two miles because of this rollback that's ongoing. Here's some of the uh, felt reports that were sent in to EMSE. I believe it's pronounced Dilly. It's 462 kilometers southwest. So that would be about 287 miles. So it woke them up with the bed shaking as a result of the quake. Another one from the same location said it was hard shaking. Um, another one said it just woke me up. Felt it for 15 seconds or so. Another one said, second shake was strong, but went quickly. Um, this one said it felt weak. Um, would not have recognized it if they were not in bed. Like I said, it was about 1.30 in the morning. Another one said it was quite strong. So I suppose it would depend on the type of soil they're on. Another one said in Darwin, it was very brief, under 60 seconds. Computer monitor... In hospital ward on ground floor, shaking, but no fall. Um, sudden strong shaking for a few seconds. A rolling roar from the ocean. That was also in Darwin. Another one, two to three seconds of a bit of a shaking. And about 20 more of slight shaking. Another one said it shook the building and woke them up. Um, they felt it. Strong shake before it dissipated into a gentle vibration. Must have lasted a while. Um, everything shaking for a minute in Darwin. Slight rocking, then solid shaking doors and windows, shuttering for about 20 seconds. Another one said the doors and windows shuttered. Um, Fanny Bay, Darwin. Let's see. Another one said it lasted about 20 seconds. Vibration woke me up at 1.23 a.m. Uh, then there was one jolt followed by more vibration that seemed to last a long time. All up um, about two minutes. I'm staying in a two-story house in Fanny Bay. 
Darwin, and it was creaking. Yeah, a bit scary, I bet. According to geologists, they get about 33 earthquakes that they feel there in Darwin, either from um, that location or from the Ban Banda Sea. Now, this one said they felt two tremors about 30 to 40 seconds apart. Uh, woke up by the first one, bed shaken. Second one, the door of the apartment was shaking. The building was rocking from side to side. Second one only lasted about 10 seconds or less. Yeah. They are also saying that the earthquake, the 7.6 that occurred on January 9th, was the largest they've had in probably about 10 years. So did you feel this earthquake and did you have damage? There was no tsunami. So you didn't have to worry about that, thank God, because, you know, in the past, many of these earthquakes did create tsunamis, such as the uh, 8.6 in 1938. They're saying that there was no deaths or injuries, but might be because of the lack of reporting. Um, in 1852, there was also a tsunami um, from a 7.5 earthquake. And that one caused 60 people um, to die. That's very sad. So there is a capability of large earthquakes in this area. Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.